This video demonstrates the wash test as modified by the North Dakota DOT. Before you run the procedure, you need to obtain the sample according to the sampling of aggregates procedure. The sample used to run the wash test is obtained by reducing the portion passing the number 4 sieve of the original aggregate sample. Next, you reduce the fine aggregate sample to a testing weight. Reduce the sample to approximately 300 to 500 grams. It's important to obtain an approximate weight rather than an exact weight. The sample size needed is determined by your nominal maximum aggregate size. A table in the wash test procedure lists the minimum size needed. The splitter shown here is for fine material and it will have at least 12 chute openings. This is approximately 500 grams of minus 4 material. The first step of the procedure is to obtain a copy of State Form 9987 to record the weights. The second step is to dry the sample to constant weight using a suitable drying method before washing. Weigh and record the weight of the material to the nearest tenth of a gram and record. The third step is to pour the entire sample into a bucket and thoroughly cover with water. Stir the sample to agitate the fines and bring them into suspension. Make sure to wash off all spoons or agitators in the bucket before setting them down. Fourth, slowly decant or pour the water into the stacked number 16 and number 200 wash sieves, being careful not to lose the coarser material of the sample. Next, add a second charge of water to the sample in the bucket. Then, stir, agitate, and decant. Use minimal water pressure to agitate the sample. Repeat this process until the wash water is clear. At no point do you want to lose any material from the sample other than the minus 200 material. This is how the water and sample should appear when properly washed. Decant the remaining water over the wash sieve.
The sixth step is to wash the material remaining in the bucket to the pan. Take care not to lose any material. Excess water on top of the sample needs to be decanted over the number 16 and wash sieves. Decant as much as possible without losing any portion of the sample. Thoroughly wash any material remaining on the number 16 sieve into the pan. Decant excess water over the wash sieve. Wash all material retained on the wash sieve to one side of the sieve. And wash material retained on the sieve back into the pan. Minimal water pressure must be used in rinsing the number 200 wash sieve to avoid forcing material into the mesh of the screen. Lastly, dry the sample according to the total evaporable moisture content of aggregate by drying procedure. Weigh and record as weight after wash. Then perform the calculations. 